Fun times ahead. That's right. It's opening day for the Florida State Fair. We were there as the lights were switched on for the first time this year. The fair is expected to entertain 500,000 people. For the next 12 days, you and your family can enjoy lots of food and fun. Someone who is very excited about the fair is Chief Meteorologist Steve Jervy. He joins us live from the fairgrounds. Steve, cheesy enchilada funnel cake. Did I see that right a minute ago? You saw that, you saw that absolutely. We're gonna make it live here on TV. This is Mama John Harris, or Mama Jane Harris, rather. And you are at the stand called The Best Around, and we think it actually is. You're right across from the Ford tent, right behind the slide. Correct. In a great location, and you have got a special creation. You make funnel cakes, different kinds, but this is a special one. This is a very special. It is dinner, not dessert. That's a Tash tag, and it's the cheesy fried enchilada funnel cake. Okay, let's go ahead and start making it then. And right. uh, let's fire it up. First of all, we got a nice big hot vat of oil, which I don't generally think we'd want to like put our hand in or anything like that. Absolutely not. This this will take your skin off. It's nice to consider funnel cake as a full meal because we enjoy it as a dessert, but it's got a lot of nutrition in it. And when you walk away, you say, I've had a good, full, nutritious meal. Correct. Yeah. All the food groups are represented and represented in a balanced way. Well, of course, you know, you've got your vegetables with the tomato or your fruit with the tomato. Right. And then you have your cheese, your chorizo, dairy, right. meat. Recommended by the American Health Association as well. I'm not sure that actually is an association, but they might recommend it. Uh, so we're going to cook this in this hot bed of oil that is what kind of temperature we're running on this stuff. Well, I like to run it pretty hot. Right now it's running about 390 degrees. Okay. Yeah. So and I, I like my food cooked in oil. It just, it gives it a crispy flavor to it. So we got the funnel cake cooking. They got more than one other flavor. I can see a vat of cheese over there and the chorizo. I can't wait to sample that. That's going to be quite tasty. It's going to be very good. I hope you enjoy it. And this was voted, was like one of the top things at the fair this year? It is. It got the, it is the winner of the People's Choice Award. All right. The People's Choice. And that's the best choice of all. All right. We're going to check our weather while the funnel cake continues to cook and we make this masterpiece here. Let's check our weather and take a look first of all at Max Defender 8 and locally things are relatively quiet. We are expecting perhaps rain next week but really if you're planning on coming out to the fair this weekend we have fantastic weather planned for you including tomorrow which might feel if you come out a little bit early a little bit chilly but we'll end the day in the low 70s. Just some stunning weather. Good timing. Uh, you can see the location of that cold front across South Florida. Maybe a few sprinkles still associated with it itself but uh, we're really kind of the door is open from the north. Cooler temperatures overall uh, would build into the state of Florida so we're going to feel that. Our forecast at 9 p.m. Uh, temperatures will fall to 61 degrees. We are headed now toward a cooler morning for sure. You can see at 7 a.m. our temperature at 50 degrees, 72 degrees in the afternoon for tomorrow. So noticeably cooler for tomorrow, but keep in mind if you're going to be out early tomorrow, you might want to definitely bring a sweater or a jacket to start the day. By the afternoon with the sunshine should balance out to a gorgeous day. Here's a look at what's going on with the winds at the moment. Of course, winds have switched out of the northwest and drawing in some cooler air and standing next to a 350 degree hot vat of oil. I can't quite tell that that's actually happened yet, but I know it is cooling down just a little bit. As we look at the RPM forecast model over the next couple of days, essentially we have an area of high pressure taking over. Right now we're on the cooler side of that high. That's giving us more of a northwest and northerly flow drawing in the cooler air from the north but as we progress through time you can see that area of high pressure continues to shift to the east so we'll tap into more of a northeasterly flow and that'll start the warming trend that you can see will be in place this weekend lifting our highs into the upper 70s. Let's get to the eight-day forecast. You can see those uh, upper 70s will carry all the way into Saturday and Sunday, including through Valentine's Day. Got a nice run of temperatures in the upper 70s. Overnight lows will come up, too, along with the high temperatures. So very nice eight-day forecast. Great forecast for the fair as well. Coming back live now, that is our creation. Mama Jane, that is just beautiful. Thank you very much. And the only thing left to do is eat it. Absolutely. So we've got the cheese on it, and we've got the chorizo sausage. And the, uh, what, what else are the ingredients I'm missing here? Uh, there's some chili powder, some garlic, some cumin. And there that, is... That's actually baked into it, right? Yeah, that's baked into the cake. And then uh, there's some tomato paste, tomato sauce in with the chorizo. That's where our vegetables come into play. That's right. Vegetables can be very tasty, and sometimes you sneak them into a diet. You get the nutrition without even knowing it. And I, I think nutrition is the word you're thinking of when you're looking at that. All right, here we go. We're going to taste it. You know, they say it's rude to eat on TV. Mama Jane, do you believe that? Oh, no, not at all. I disagree with that. Wow. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. <laughs> now I understand why it's a voted top at the fair. 
A lot of nutrition in there too, guys, but it's very tasty and a little bit of spice to it. So come and try it. The best around is the name of the stand. They make all kinds of funnel cake, but this is top. She doesn't know you like we do, so she has no idea that you have been yanking her chain this whole <laughs> All time. of the food groups represented and the nutrition. The Health Association it. gives it oh, thumbs up. She's got a great sense of humor. You we're throw some whipped cream on that, it's finished. Thank, Thank you, Steve. You. My goodness.